Good morning. Glory to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and under the ages of ages. Amen. Thursday, Thursday, um, March the 16th, 2023. And a little follow-up on uh, what a uh, little project I started there. As you know, uh, can this can be, and skin be made into a banjo is the subject of the project. Uh, this now, uh, I did... And I'm going to show you what I did this morning. Um, work on the can and uh, the form uh, and, and the um, and the brackets. You see, the top one uh, is going to go down. This this uh, is a rim that came out of, as you know, the oval um, sardine can, and I've got brackets on it so that I can screw this down with washers to this piece of wood and secure it right down. That way it's going to be, I'm, I'm really, I'm really pretty sure it's going to be pretty solid. Um, so once that's screwed down, then, um, this skin fits over that hoop like so. Okay. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I will put the, uh, first put the metal under the, under the wood with screws. And then I'll get this skin boiling hot, nice and pliable. And this here fits down over the top of that, like that. You know, reasonably, that's what I'm going to be doing. It's going to slide that down over the top. Uh, once I get it all wet, it should be pliable enough so that uh, this wood will go down over that wooden thing and then uh, over the metal rim. And then I can uh, let it dry until... Um, like a couple days until uh, it forms into a new shape. I want to shape it so that it fits around that much and jam that down on there as, really as far as I can go with it. Um, then, um, once I get that done, it's all dry, then I can pull that skin off and I can put a wire, uh, steel wire around the edge of it. So, now, uh, this rig right here, uh, will fit down over that, um, like so, and there will be bolt holes around it where I'll run bolts down in. I probably I'm going to put probably eight bolts on here, or even six bolts would work. So I'm not sure exactly how to do that yet. Uh, one I do notice one thing though; it's very it's mighty thin right here. Um, and, uh, that's, I'm not quite sure how strong that is yet. So what I'm going to end up probably doing is, uh, mount, uh, putting some metal around the perimeter of that. Um, I got some copper laying around that I can slice up into strips. If I could just put some copper in around that, then, uh, That would make that sturdy enough, I think, to hold the pressure to hold that drum head on. Because uh, uh, there's a few pounds on here, I, I, I can tell you. Um, as you see. Now, the sound can go down through into the in what I call the sound chamber. Um, and that's the metal of this can. Um, then what I'll have to do is I'll have to trim that out. And uh, say my neck is on this end. Um, I have to open this up like so and open it up so that I can straighten that out because uh, then next thing I want to do is I want to um, this wooden form once it's all set up into the drum head then I can trim it all up to fit into that into the top of that can and pretty close right now um, then I use screws to attach the wood inside the can it should it, it's going to fit down inside the can so it's flush with the top of it, like so. That's what I'm hoping to do. That's what I'm hoping to accomplish. But there will be a little bit of an echo chamber there, and uh, you'll be able to get some sound out of it. I don't think it'll be loud. I don't think it'll be any, any kind of good quality tone. Um, but I guess the whole point is just to see if it can be done. Um, now I love playing the old banjo. Uh, this, I'm going to make this into probably a three-string banjo. Um So that I tuned it to the bottom three strings on a violin, or a man, which is the same thing as a violin. So if anybody can play the mandolin, then they can, they'll be able to take this and pick a tune on it. 
I'm hoping. Um, so, keep folks, stay uh, current on the uh, the videos that I that I send up. Um, we'll have to do some work um, once I get it all set up. Um, then I'll get it all trimmed up evenly. That's it for now, folks. Glory to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and under the ages of ages. I'll keep you posted on my progress on this thing. And I intend on going uh, with vigor on this rig. Um, it's fun. I like doing this stuff. Making something out of nothing. And I'm thinking that's well strong enough to hold that rim. I just hope that it's so... Uh, because it's very thin, even though it has a rolled bead on the edge of it, I'm really kind of hoping that uh, that won't cut through the skin. Uh, if it does that, then we're going to be definitely, we'll, we'll be moving on to another project. If the project works, it does, but don't, it don't. How, how's that? Um, I did cut the bottom out of that other oval uh, sardine can and slide that over the outside of, of, of the one that I'd cut my brackets into. And then I put like a piece of black, uh, just uh, like electrical tape, because it's kind of a raw edge right there. And it was kind of sharp, and I didn't, I didn't want anybody to get cut. Say that I gave it away, and then uh, and then somebody had, had to take it apart for some reason. I wouldn't want them to get sliced open. So I put a, a strip of black electrician's tape on around the outside of it. Well, folks, that's as far as I got with it so far. And uh, like I said, just keep checking in on me, seeing how I'm making... How, how much progress I am actually making on this. And we'll talk to you later. Bye.